Hey, I'm live. Yeah, I started a minute early. Sue me. <laughs> oh, gosh. Just realized the state of the room. Um, uh, How's everybody doing? Who's here? Oof. <laughs> Stadium Arts, I'm good man. Yes, I'm good as well. Dude, it's been a while, hasn't it? Uh, Jason Armstrong, it has indeed. It's been, oh, I don't know, over two months since my last stream. It's, it's just been a busy time, busy time. The room looks fantastic. Thank you. I, it's really, I got to organize the, I have run out of room. I was making this the switch shelf, but it's like stuffed twofold. It's it's impossible to even find anything. I didn't anticipate the switch was going to be that good. Oof. Oh gosh! You know you don't notice your game room until you see it. Yeah, I got uh, my Neo stuff behind me, so we're going to try a little of that today. Time for another Neo Geo affair. Yep, yep. This one might get spicy. Well, I'm here for one. That's good. Cheese Meister, always great to see you. Daniel H is here. Great. Uh, Shin, okay. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Sean Orange. I know that guy. This is so weird. I was in. I was. I was chatting uh, during Sean Orange's stream, which is something I rarely am able to do. And now Sean's here with mine. Excellent. Lord Maxim is here. Great. James Stoddard is here. Wonderful. Wonderful. So Neo Geo, huh? Yep. I, 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 Neo Geo is a hobby I've gotten into and then gotten out of and then gotten into again and then gotten out of. Yeah. It's very expensive. Uh, all right. Uh, Alexis here. Dr. Oherd 1994 is here. Welcome. Wow. There's a lot of people here. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for uh, tuning in today. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes for the, uh, the tweet to go out or the, the tubes to connect. <laughs> I don't know. And then we'll do a little Neo Geo. I got, my, I got my advanced entertainment system here all ready to go. I am doing well. Thank you. Um, oh, Klonoa is here. Welcome. Welcome. Um, I'm doing well. Um, it's been a very busy couple of weeks, a um, couple of months, a couple of, you know, it's, <laughs> it's been pretty, pretty crazy for a while, as, as everyone's aware. Um, but uh, just getting things in order. A um, lot of work with the end of the year. Uh, in uh, Japan, the financial year, maybe everywhere, but the financial year ends in the end of uh, uh end of March, and there's all kinds of stuff to be done before that. So what Vink means for my name? Well, I've given I've given a lot of answers over the years to that question. Most of them are lies. Um, <laughs> um, the one I'm currently going with is there's a book called Shogun by James Clavell, and it, uh, rep and it talks about uh, a... a a uh, Englishman who is washed up on the shores of Japan in the 1600s, and he eventually becomes a samurai and uh, learns all about Japanese culture and adapts and learns the language. And uh, one of his shipmates was named Vink with only one N, and he never really figured it out. He just stumbled around Japan, and that's how I feel <laughs> sometimes. Um but that's not the real reason. Uh, the real reason is uh, my full name. Um, uh, part part of it was an anagram that I used back when I was uh, in college. So, um, but it it has no real meaning. I just liked how it sounded. Shogun was a great, great miniseries. It's a great book too. It's a great book. I just re -li I listened to it on. Audiobook format uh, this month. I, I finished it up again. It's like 55 hours long as an audiobook. It is a really, really long book. Oh my goodness, my phone's going nuts. Super Game Boy Tower back there. Yeah, yeah, I got a tower of Super Game Boys. I got a whole bunch more somewhere. Yeah, I've got. Yeah, hold on. 
where can I find the super Russian roulette game ROM file? I'm not sure. I don't really I don't really know about those type of things so much. I've got the actual cartridge, but yeah, here's some more Super Game Boys. Uh, oh, two of those are Super Game Boy 2s. Yep. It's all for a project. It's for a project I'm working on. Hopefully we'll see it someday. I know. Yes, I did hear about season 13 of Mystery Science. Ah, the, the the reward tiers for physical rewards are really high though this time. Two hundred and fifty bucks for the for the Blu-ray set. I don't think I even haven't even opened haven't even opened mine from the first Kickstarter um, because I don't know. I, I've like I've watched them on streaming services, but but I still need to, I still need to own physical because I'm that way. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. You remember that one clip from season one where you're excited over a Neo Geo? Yep, 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 yep. I remember. Uh, that's unfortunately I don't have that Neo Geo anymore. I I traded that one away in a long time ago. This is I think this is my third Neo Geo right now that I'm on. The first one I left, the first one I got in Japan, but I left back in America. One of my friends wanted, and I figured I'd just buy another one when I got here. And then there was that second, that boxed one, and I traded that one away. And this is this is Neo Geo 3.0. All right. Any uh, Space Invaders SNES trick that works on Super Game Boy 2 adapter? Not sure. I know that there's a, a Super Nintendo game hidden inside one of the re-releases of Space Invaders. That was pretty cool. Uh, you can play as Miru Anjin in the first Neo game. I've never, never. I should get that. I should get lots of things. Uh, that's one long Neo Geo affair. Yes, yes it is. Yes it is. But anyway, um, so yeah. Oof. Hello, Alabama. What's your next story? How old are you? I'm 26, and you? Well, then you're you're a youngin. You're a youngin. How old do you guys think I am? Take a guess. Take a guess. Oh, this uh, this is this is dangerous. This is that's a dangerous question. Uh, and of course, the whole Famicom Dojo dedicated to your new addiction at the time. Yep, 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 yep. 38 thank you 15 th that mm, thank thanks for that for that lie <laughs> <laughs> oh i wish i wish no 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 these are good guesses though they're pretty close <laughs> <laughs> because of famicom dojo video game podcast yes yes New Jew is an amazing machine. For I am I am forty one years old right now. Uh, I just turned forty one uh, last month. My birthday is in March, and uh, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling kind of over the hill, you know. And uh, I think I yeah I I'd have a midlife crisis, but I'm way too busy. So anyway, yep, yeah, 1980. 1980. It was a good year. Nice vintage. All right. Um, thank you for saying that. I'm. Thank you for saying I'm still young. All right. Something that's. So let's look at let's look at our Geo right here. So this is my Neo Geo Advanced Entertainment System. I've just got the one controller hooked up because I am all alone here, and. Um, I got some cards on the back. So let's see what we got here. Okay. This is, uh, this, uh, this is, I, there are more Neo Geo cartridges of mine back in the United States, back from when I was collecting the first time when it was cheap. Um, so there's probably 10 or 15 cartridges back there, which I'm hoping to get at if I can ever go back to the United States again. Um, but yeah. Let's look here. Um, so I got I got your standards. I got the first three Samurai Spirits games right here. Right here. I've I've always liked the Samurai Showdown series quite a lot. 
Um, and then uh, this is uh, King of Fighters 94. It's currently the only King of Fighters uh, game I have here. I have a copy of uh, 98 back in the United States, and I just sold a copy of 97 recently. Uh, so this is really the only one I have right now. Um, at, at various times, I've owned two, I've owned King of Fighters 99, 2000, uh, 2001, um, and uh, 95 and 90. I've, I think I've owned most of them at one time or another. Okay. Uh, it'll be filled with purple crystals. What? Oh, sorry. I think I didn't read something. <laughs> uh, let's see. Are there any uh, shoot 'em ups non fighters for Neo Geo there? Um, yeah. Um, yes, but not many. I mean, it was an arcade system, so it's gonna have you. It's gonna have your classic action games. Uh, from that time, I mean, uh, I mean, it's of course famous for run and gun games like Metal Slug, um, but there's not really many non-action games on the Neo Geo as it was an arcade system. Um, the Neo Geo CD has um, has the Samurai Showdown RPG, but other than that, not really. <laughs> Neo Geo. Oh, I get it. I get it. Oh, sorry, took me a long time. Um, anyway. Um, then we've got, uh, uh, Fatal Fury, Fatal Fury Special, Fatal Fury 2, Art of Fighting 2, uh, Thrash Rally, that's, that's a, that's a non, that's a non-shooter, non, non-fighter, uh, World Heroes 2 Jet, and then these are my, my rare ones, uh, this is Metal Slug 4 and Matramele, and Matramele is, uh, the, the final game of the Power Instinct series. So... Uh, yeah, those are ones I got new, and those are my, those are my only two U.S. titles here right now. You can tell from the different branding. No Chibi Marco quiz? No. No, 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 no. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's my collection right now. Um, I regret a lot of the cards that I sold. I used to have a, um, uh, SNK versus Capcom SVC Chaos, which was a really fun game, which I just figured I'd rebuy later when I wanted to play it. I needed I needed some money, and I I, I bought it for I think I bought it for two hundred and fifty dollars. I sold it for four hundred dollars, thinking yeah. But now, if I want to rebuy it, it's well over two thousand. Uh, Okay, there was the Matramele Plus for the PlayStation 2, yes. But I, I wouldn't call it a sequel. They just added a couple characters to it. Is the Neo Geo region locked? No, it's not. And what's interesting is if you have a um, uh, an American Neo Geo, um, it's going. most of these games have English built into them, and it'll just switch it over to English. Um, and if uh, there's only a few games that were Japan-exclusive. And uh, like some of the quiz games and things, and some of the mahjong games, but other than that, pretty much any game. And uh, even these games, I've got a Japanese system, so they're going to be in Japanese. But a lot of them, a lot of the newer ones, allow me to switch the language. Some of the er early games didn't didn't have that as an option, but uh, but a lot of them allow me to switch the language. Although SNK English is not exactly English. It's it, you know, you got your phrases like "Wow, what a tough," and things like that. Oh yeah, the prices of Neo Geo stuff is ridiculous right now. Uh, I can't really collect to collect this system anymore. I basically just pick up the games that I, I like. I, I really like the Samurai um, Showdown series. So, uh, speaking of, what did I get recently? Oh, let me show you what I got recently. Wish for the Switch because I can't afford all of them on Neo cards, and this one comes in like a, a snap box. I haven't opened it yet. Just got it uh, about a week and a half ago. Yeah. So, a big fan of that series. And and actually, my, my daughter and I have been playing a lot of Samurai Showdown 2 lately. Uh, she really likes it. She plays this Cham Cham. And uh, yeah, we've been having a ton of fun with that. She uh, that's uh, I didn't know she'd be into that particular game, but yeah, she really likes it. All right. Uh, what am I reading? Mm, I own? 
<laughs> I own over 181 Neo Geo ROM files on SD card. Well, that's 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 still something. These games are great. Um, yeah, especially Samurai Shodown too. What what did it start with? Um, Once there were a man who want to make his skill ultimate, because of his bloody past, it's no wonder that he's caught in the struggles. Something like that. It's just really really nuts. Uh, personally, I just uh, I mostly just get flashcards and optical drive emulators for consoles because I don't have space for physical games. Well, I mean, yeah, I I enjoy collecting. I enjoy I enjoy I enjoy having this nice shelf. But you know, uh, everyone should everyone should do what makes them happy. As long as it's as long as you don't hurt anybody else in the process. Uh, the best SNK English I've encountered is Chris, is in Crystallis for the for the NES. Really, I, I I'm trying to remember what 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 that was because I had that game. Anyway, speaking of overpriced collectibles, I saw a Kusanagi figure from Ghost in the Shell priced at priced at over a thousand dollars. That's nuts. How hard would it be to play an MVS game on a on, uh, on an AVS or AES? Um, not hard, but you need a you need a converter uh, like the Phantom converter or something like that, and that's going to run you about two hundred dollars. But yeah, it's possible. Totally possible, but uh, the pinout is different, so you can't just you can't just pop a MVS cartridge in there. I believe I got the Samurai Shodown collection from the Epic Games Store on PC when it was free, but I still haven't played it because I'm not really interested in fighting games. Well, I mean, to tell you the truth, I'm not a huge I'm not a huge fan of fighting games either, but I like weapon based fighters a lot, and that's what Samurai Shodown was, and it, it's it's got such an interesting atmosphere. Well, we'll look at it later. We'll look at it, and, and uh, you might want to give it you might want to give it a try, even if you're not traditionally into fighting games. It's a it's it's a fun one to play just for the atmosphere. Uh, I too love to collect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you own Waku Waku Seven? Uh, only on the Saturn. Waku Waku Seven is a really expensive uh, Neo Kart. Really expensive, like like two three thousand uh, dollars. Where's my Waku Waku Seven? I think I, uh, it's probably in the back. No, not gonna. Oh yeah, here we go. Get it on Saturn because I can't afford it on Geo. The Saturn one is not perfect. It's not a perfect emulation, but yeah. All right. Uh, good morning, get Oh, hey, reluctant hero. Welcome, welcome, welcome. ES and MVS cartridges are not interchangeable. That is correct. Uh, do, 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 do. Arcade carts are much cheaper. Yep. Uh, it's a shame people destroying MVS cards to make AES conversions. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. I, I, I feel sad whenever any any cartridge needs to be sacrificed to make another cartridge. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I so I'm hoping that like with the, with the advent of 3D printing and stuff, that things are gonna. I don't know. I also don't like repos that don't label themselves as repos. I really don't like that. But it, I, that's because I that's because I'm a selfish collector. But like, but like these games, I might have to like send back to the place that I got them to get them authenticated because there's so many. There's there's such a significant number more of like reproduction carts that look exactly the same that there's all that it's very hard to actually tell these days. Um, without ripping things apart. So, um, but I don't want to. I don't want to send them back and pay for them to get authenticated because I'm afraid I'm going to get them lost. Or you know, the mail system is kind of. I don't know. Anyway, three grand for a cart? Oh yeah, yeah. You want an original metal slug? It's going for over ten grand right now. Uh, play Captain Tom Day. Yeah. Because this is only RAM cartridge. Okay. Do you have the CD version of the AS? Yeah, I've got a Neo Geo CD system. Uh, it's. Oh, can you see it? It's, it's in the box. It's in this box right now. It's. Uh, ah, yeah. Right there. Here's my Neo Geo CD system. Whoa. I got more games for that than I do AS. Maybe I'll do a stream on that sometime. 
Any licorice lately? I am out of licorice. I could, I could, I could murder a bag of all sorts right now. Oh. Yeah, mislabeling repros is essentially fraud. I, I agree. I agree, but yeah. I mean, making repros without a license is, is copyright infringement as well. So I, I guess if people don't care about one, they don't care about the other. Oh, you got to head out? Okay. Well, thank, thank, thank you for stopping by, doctor. If you, I mean, if you're for your own personal use and you're putting a new label on your cartridges, I have no problem with that whatsoever. That's fine. The only thing I'd have a problem was if you, is if you later tried to pass it off as as the authentic label. That that's the only problem I'd have for doing just. You just ran out of root beer. Let me see. That's that's where you and I differ. Mm. Oh. <laughs> is the Neo Geo CDC be CDZ better? I've owned one for a while. It's a little faster. That's about it. But it has the tendency to overheat, so, uh, you know, your mileage may vary. Frankly, what I'm really looking forward to is the Polymega, because you'll be because uh, that's going to uh, eliminate the long loading times uh, for the CD games, and it will include the, the better soundtracks of the CD games. So I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, my wife just got me three bags of licorice jelly beans for, for Easter. What? I want that. Now, there's questions over whether the CDZ actually has a 2x CD-ROM drive or whether it's just um, more RAM in the in the in the, in the cache to uh, to to hold the thing. I've heard both. I've heard people saying both things, and I'm not sure. If it really is two, two, two times the speed, it doesn't seem like it when you use it, but it's definitely faster. Why does the Polymega keep getting delayed? To make me sad, I think. I mean, I didn't, I didn't order one. I want to wait till people are. I want to wait till it's in, you know, regular distribution. Uh, maybe work the bugs out of it, but I want one eventually, and so I'm hoping it'll, it'll happen. I can never get into root beer. Root beer is a that's okay. <laughs> uh, I don't think the Polymega is ever coming out. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I know. I. I mean, uh, if you look at Sadumaru's channel, he's got one. He was given to it as like a uh, to 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 show it off, um, and it looks really cool. But yeah, I wonder if it's ever going to go into what is the Polymega? It is basically the Retron Five, but for more systems and uh, much better emulation or what is it? FPGA? What? Am I even saying that right? That's a golf league. I don't know, but it, it'll run uh, Saturn, Neo Geo CD, um, PC engine CD, PlayStation, all kinds of games. And what's cool is it'll, it, you can, you can rip them right to the system. So once you've uh, used your original disc once you can, you can store it away. So yeah. Polymega is an FPGA. It really isn't. Oh, well, there you go. See, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Ooh, do, 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 do. If I remember correctly, they also have adapters. Where, yep, you can plug in uh, adapters so that you can play Famicom, Super Famicom, uh, PC Engine, Mega Drive. Um, I don't know, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, analogs, analog systems are wonderful. Analog systems, they, they make wonderful stuff, but I can't afford any of their stuff. Anyway, um, but anyway, here we are. Um, sh sh should I pop in a game? I mean, I've <laughs> wasted 25 minutes of your time already. Just, just, blah, 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 blah. but, uh, but yeah. Uh, do you want to see a game? You can see me play it really badly. Uh, let's see. I wanted to get the Super NT, but I didn't have the money for that. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. 
I'm actually not sure. I remember hearing that it was an arm system. Metal slug. Wow. A metal slug. Uh, you want to go right to want to go right to the heart of it? <laughs> it's lovely chatting. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And uh oh, oh hold on, hold on. YouTuber stuff. Um, if you're not subscribed right now, uh, smash that subscribe button, smash the like, crush the, I don't know, YouTube speech. Make me famous <laughs> by doing internet things. Thank you. Oh, I think you've been importing Super Famicom at some point just because I like the look of it more than yeah. They're they're fairly cheap now, and they're gonna they're gonna go up in price like everything else. But like yeah, get get one, get one now. I've got a couple within my field of vision. <laughs> but yeah, they're they're cool looking. Smash the thumbs up. That's it. Smash your thumb into your computer, please. Please like and subscribe. This message is held for review. Please like and subscribe. Why? All right. Uh, time to open an eBay tab. Yeah. Oh, one of those want to get famous bots on Twitches. Oh, yeah. Did you get the handheld Neo Geo? Um, I mean, I, I uh, if you're talking about the thing that, like, uh, the, the Neo Geo that was converted into a, the AES system that was converted into a handheld, no, no, I don't. But if you're talking about the Neo Geo Pocket, I've got two of them right here. Love it. Love it. One of my favorite systems of all time. Love the Neo Geo Pocket. Does your game store still open online? Yeah, yeah, I got a game store. I can link it. Just a minute. Do to do. I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't have a game store? Do, do, do. I mean, by game store, of course, I mean the stuff behind me is about half for sale. <laughs> like, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Clicky handheld, yeah. Oh man, I when the I I have I have um, most of the games that were released in the U.S. for the system. I I was really into it when it came out, but I didn't save most of the boxes and stuff. When I came to Japan, I've got just the carts, like you know, tin container somewhere. Let's see. Hui! Oh, where is it? <laughs> this is the part of the show that everyone loves. Getting to see, getting to see parts of my butt. You know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pull it out right now. Ugh. But yeah, I got, I got most of the games. Oh, let's see. I was referring to the emulator, but the pocket is better. No, no. But first, those cartridges must be in need of some cleaning, yes. Oh, dear. I remember linking your store on a Discord server I'm on that's focused on retro gaming because I figured it would be... Oh, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, I don't advertise at all because, frankly... Um, it's, it's something that, uh, I don't have the time to, if it got really popular, I don't think I'd be able to keep it going because, uh, they, uh, I mean, I just barely have enough time to do it as it is. Need more Famicom Disk System games in your store. Well, the problem is, is I'm a collector of Famicom Disk System as well, but I'm going to be listing some stuff soon. Oof, I just got some stuff in. Mm, sorry. I'm going to be putting up this Metroid. And I've got a Castlevania that's going up soon. And uh, what else am I putting up? I got, I got another Mario 2 that's going up. And uh, Versus Excite Bike. I'm going to put those up. I don't know. Maybe this weekend if I have time. Yeah. I just gotta test them out, make sure everything works. Make sure I don't I don't list anything I haven't tested. I don't list anything I haven't uh, played. I just, I think that I think that would be bad, a bad move. 
Ush. Oof. Will the cleaning sun make a comeback? Of course. The GBA was my first ever console that I managed to own before the Xbox 360 and Wii, and now the PS4. I used to play OG Game Boy games on the original model GBA, which is the same model that I owned. Cool. I wonder if there would ever be a chance to find another funny Discord like when Sean bought that copy of Zelda and found a copy of Wrecking Crew on it. Oh, my gosh. I mean... I, I found I found lots of games, strange games on on discs that were mislabeled or or written over. Yep, I've got about I think I've got about thirty games left that I need to get for Famicom Disk System to have a complete collection. But 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 I mean, most of my games are loose, like you know. You know, most of my games are like this, rather than, you know, the whole box like this. So, like, even when I get all of these, I don't think I'm done, because I'm going to try to get all the manuals and all the... Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's an obsession. That's the problem. It's an obsession. Do, do, do... What's your opinion on PSN closing for PS3, PSP, and PS Vita? It a tremendous sense of FOMO. Like I was already pretty much all in for physical collecting and, and was like, well, you know what? Maybe it'd be nice to build up a little bit of a digital library. And the first system I started building a digital library for was the PlayStation 3. And then I have most of my Vita games are also digital just because I wanted to play. I mostly wanted to play RPGs. And so, you know, getting them from the States was was expensive. And the PSN de deals would be really cheap often. So, and of course, all the digital only stuff. So I had invested quite a bit in those storefronts. And I just feel like a sucker now. Um I mean, I, I'll still be able to download all of them for the foreseeable future through a very cumbersome process. But it just makes it just reaffirms that I'm gonna go that I'm gonna stick with physical. And that's sad because I if it really would be that digital would be available for the long term, I could see some value in it, but uh, I don't know. I know nothing. Yes, yeah, some nothing lasts forever, but I'm a I'm a collector, and I I most of my favorite games are games that haven't that have come out decades ago, and like there's a lot of the library that I'd love to discover on PlayStation systems years later, and I don't want to pay a thousand dollars for them. You know, I don't. You know, there's I don't know. Yeah. Do I have Jew on the Grudge on the Wii? No, I don't. I heard that game was terrible. <laughs> I, I think it's valuable now, but I heard it was pretty terrible. Uh, I'm recently into Japanese original Xbox and 360 collecting. Boy, those things are obscure. Yes. Well, there's some really good stuff. Like, I've got Metal Wolf Chaos, which is a fantastic game. And then uh, Poochie Copter. And, I mean, there were some really... In, uh, Drilleroo. Uh, there were some amazing uh, Xbox exclusives uh, for in Japan, which is ridiculous that that even was a thing. Uh, okay. Obsession by Vink. Yes, yes, that is... I Yes, totally obsessed. I'm really I'm only really comfortable building a digital library on PC because if something like Steam goes down, at least I could find cracked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Physical for the win, yes. The PS3 thingy was inevitable. Why I had no love for the system. Yeah, yeah. Judgment Silver Sword. I do not have Judgment Silver Sword. Um I've, and that's one of the few. I mean, that's one of the Wonderswan games that I've never owned, because it was never cheap, even when it was new. Like it's, it, I think it started. Uh, I think it launched at sixty bucks, and it just went, just went out. It, it was never cheap, so I've, I've never owned a copy of it. 
Oh yeah, digital media. Yeah, you can't can't really can't really completely trust that, and that's and that's sad. Because oh, I don't know, and it and it and it drives me crazy now. Because now, now if there's a, like a limited run edition of something, even if it's a game I'm not particularly interested in, just something I think I may possibly be interested in the future, I find myself buying it, and that's not that's no way to live. Um. Yeah, Metal Wolf Chaos was re-released. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a fantastic game. Yep, they're closing in uh, Retro Gaming in nineteen eighty one. They're closing in July, I believe. Yep. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. Coffee? No, I am just drinking water right now. I don't want to drink coffee this late at night. It's it's just just after midnight here, so. I'm going to sleep after this. Nope, just drinking water. Because I'm just... This this podcast is rarely about gaming and mostly just about talking. I can go for a coffee. Yes, yes, yes. Coffee, coffee, coffee keeps me going most of the day. That's why I'm still awake now. 9 a.m. here. Microsoft will keep the Xbox 360 running because of backwards compatibility. I hope so. I really do. Yeah. How about a game? Let's do a game. Um, you want to do one of the Samurai Showdowns? I think I'll save these two for later in the stream, but uh, anything else is fair game right now. What do you want to say? What is my favorite coffee? Um, I just, uh, I got a, I've got a, I've got like a stovetop mo mocha express. Um, I like to, I like to play coffee that's fairly strong. Black. I don't. I don't do the flavored coffee so much. Maybe if I'm, uh, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm just relaxing, maybe I'll do a flavored coffee. But for the most part, it's just black and strong. Yeah. Uh, whatever I prefer. Uh, samurai showdown. Okay. Uh, let's. Yeah, we could do the. Let's do the first samurai showdown. I don't play that one very often. Because I, I got three recently, and two is the one I've pl put the most time into over the years. But three has a special nostalgic place because uh, the, the college I went to had an arcade before it became the Diversity Resource Center. Uh, but but it was there was an arcade on, on this in the uh, Student Union building, and uh, they had they had a they had a five slot Neo Geo with Baseball Stars two. Um, League Bowling, Samurai, uh, Samurai, Samurai Showdown Three, and something else that must not have stuck in my mind. But so I mainly played the, <laughs> I played some League Bowling at times, but I mainly played Samurai Showdown Three. All right. Okay, let's let's pop in the first one. Okay, I'm, I'm sure most of you have seen Neo Geo cards before, but for the anyone who hasn't, the, it's surprising. I mean, this is how big they are compared to my head, and I have a fairly large head. And this is how big the cards are. They take up that entire box. And I like, I like, I like uh, the the early cards had full size manuals later on they're kind of cd sized manuals but i don't like how the early cartridges had these uh kind of hollow plasticky cases this one's in good condition but they're they're always busted up when you find them they're always busted up when you find them it was hard for me to get a good collection so anyway there's the cart i should probably clean it now i've cleaned these recently i don't think i need to actually yeah double pins so anyway, let's 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 see how many megs is this game. This one is um, one hundred and eighteen. So this will probably put on a uh, hundred mega shock logo when I put it on, because that was the marketing they used there. Okay. All right. Let's let's turn this on. Get the sound up a little bit. I think this is one of the Mega Shock series. This 
死ぬことと見つけたり、修羅道とは倒すこととにつけたり、我、気がせつとなり、目の前の敵、すべてを、切る。They had this game at Shakey's Pizza when I was maybe a junior high school student, and it just blew me away at the time. How, how nice it looked. Oh, yeah, we're going easy. This one doesn't have many options, so I can't set this one to English. Yeah, you can knock. What one of the cool things was you could like you could knock weapons out of out of the other player's hands, and then you have to just fight bare knuckle and, until you can pick your weapon back up. Just a very very cool game. All right, Let's see who I want to be. Since I'm cooking up through composite rather than RGB, I've got the cool rainbow arms going on there. Oh, oh, I guess I'm him. Okay, I ran out of time. Oh, the sound effects are so good. Just the atmosphere in this game is so cool. It was also cool that it had like destructible. So you can take down those fire pits. Oh, yeah, and it was quite bloody. This game was actually pretty controversial when it came out. And the US version was censored. I have an RGB cable. To hook this Neo Geo up, but I don't have an RGB monitor right now. I remember being very impressed by the destructible environments at the time. I don't know any of the special moves for this. Sorry. It's going to be very boring to watch. Is there any HDMI options for this system? Yeah, you can mod it. You can definitely mod it. But I don't think anybody's made a, a converter that goes right to the system itself. It's so weird how the U U.S. version of this was censored because it's like, what, what, what poor impressionable children is buying three hundred dollar carts? No, I think about two hundred and fifty was about the cheapest Neo Geo games were. Hey, Enzo. Kabuki fighter. Yeah. As impressive as this game is, this is the Samurai Shodown 2 is, is actually leaps and bounds better looking. But I, I, each of them has enough of the, its own, own atmosphere. Man, not doing well here. Each of them have. Oh, oh, well, that's not great. Perhaps I should pay attention to uh, what I'm doing. <laughs> And after Mortal Kombat came out, the, the later uh, Samurai Shodown games had fatalities. I mean, they weren't called fatalities, but they were, they were definitely finishing moves that were fatal. Stop. Stop that. Thank you. Ouch. 
really got to learn how to play video games. <laughs> but anyway, that's Samurai Showdown. Anyway, so that's the first Samurai Showdown. And I got to say, I haven't played it all that much. You know, I've never really gotten great, you know, like, I never really studied fighting game technique very much, as you can, as you can see, but I've always enjoyed them. I've just, I, I've, I've never been good at them, but mostly I've always played them with my friends who were also not good at the games, which was really good, but, <laughs> oh, let's see. The SNES version of Samurai Shodown, uh, Sean did a really interesting video on that one. Um, Oh yeah, Neo Geo sprites just uh, just there's a there's just an amazing artistic element to the whole thing. Oh, you got ahead and do some college work. Well, thank you very much for coming in. Um, uh, if you if you haven't uh, subscribed, uh, please do so and hit that bell. And uh, ooh, that sounds like a YouTuber. And uh, I'm gonna try to do these more often again. Uh, probably not every week like I was doing before, but I'd like to try to do at least a couple a month. So, so uh, catch you later. Thank you for stopping by. All right, let's put in another card. Should we continue going through the Samurai uh, Samurai Spirit series, or you should I switch to something else? Mash all the buttons until something happens. Oh yeah. For someone who's so bad at fighters, it's strange that I even own a Neo Geo. I've just to tell you the truth, I, I just like looking at it. I mean, like, not, no, no, I mean, not, not like staring at the cartridges by themselves, but like just seeing the artistic, all the artistic stuff that went into uh, making these games, the sounds, the music. I, I'm fine just, I, I'm fine watching other people play too. I just, I just, I just love the, the, the whole aesthetic. All right. Um, uh... A shoot 'em up. I, I mean, the only shoot 'em up I have is is Metal Slug. Uh, but uh, and I, I, yeah, I guess I could pop that one in right now if, if you guys if you guys want to. Uh, especially if you guys got things to do later, I don't want you waiting around for it. So, no, I'm not gonna end the stream right now. I was just saying goodbye to Mr. Chris. Boric and Kirby, you were in uh, you were in Sean's stream the other day, weren't you? The the Rockman stream that was fun. Okay, let's do Metal Slug Four. Fine, fine. This is probably the most valuable game in my collection. Uh, the U.S. version had only five hundred copies made of it, um, which at the time was enough to meet demand because it was uh, what was it two thousand and two thousand and two, and I pre-ordered it. And uh, and I got it. I think there was about a th uh, more thousand thousand five hundred copies of the Japanese version made. So it's fairly rare. It's fairly rare. Oh, hey, Wreck It Rens. I'm doing very well. I'm doing a new Geo stream today. So uh, this is the probably the rarest game in my probably the rarest game in my collection actually. And. Uh, it's considered kind of the not the black sheep of the Metal Slug family. That would be like some of the spin-off games, but it's it's considered the weakest of the mainline series. But since it's the only one I've ever owned, it's one of my favorites just because I've played it so much. So let's pop that guy in. Hey, Satoshi. Welcome. I'm about to play Metal Slug 4. <laughs> okay, this one might need some cartridge cleaning. Cartridge cleaning song? Are we doing that? Let's see. Oh, no. We got it. All right. This is during that time. This one doesn't actually have the SNK logo on it, um, on the game itself, because this is during the time where SNK had gone out of business and Playmore and Mega Corporation worked on this along with Noise Factory in order to get this game out.
how heavy are the cartridges? Depends on the one. Later cartridges are heavier than the early cartridges. Okay, let's do this. Option. Difficulty. Easy. I love the sound effects. I meant how heavier the Neo Geo cartridges. As I said, uh, the, er the later ones are heavier than the early ones. What controller am I using? Ah, oh, just a standard, standard uh, Neo Geo controller. That's all I have. I have, I have two of these. Um, oh, never mind. I guess I could throw on my Neo Geo CD pads, but I don't know. If I'm playing the AES, I usually like to use these. But the CD pad, the the CD controllers are are compatible with uh, with this one. So if you want clicky sticks, that's totally fine. Feel obviously. Oh yeah, dual machine guns. That was a, a new power up just for this. Hold on, my sticks not working. So I'll hold on. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry. When I was uh, touching the controller thing, I think I loosened the connector. That's not an excuse for how much I'm sucking. Don't worry. You'll know that I suck, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. There we go. I very rarely have played this as a single player game. I've always played this co op with someone, usually someone better than me. If you eat a lot, you'll get fat in the game, which is always fun. Oh, the exploding animations are just so good in this game. Oh. All right, time for some heavy machine guns. Long chair. I should read some comments. What's going on? Yet Vink plays feel. Yeah. Always blame it on loose connection. Yep. Uh, game added two characters from Metal Slug One and Second Mission. Oh, the not I think Nadia and Trevor are unique to this game. Yeah. Rocket lawn chair. New G lasted a crazy amount of time. It sure did. And with good stuff too. Wow, that was dumb. I keep forgetting that I have grenades. And that I should be using them. Alright, let's go.
cameos. Okay, avoid grenades. Chickens! Watermelons! Oh, crap. Can't grenade my way out of this one. There we go. Rocket long chair. Yeah, I should probably try being better at video games. Fun game. That's what I was looking for. Let me read some of these comments. The audio for the game is all messed up. Yeah? Nadia and Trevor are unique. I was almost certain they were from the Neo Geo. Ah, it's possible. I turned it. I don't really remember. The original Game Boy, how it lasted. Well, I guess, but it had a lot of iterations between them. Like you got your Game Boy, your Game Boy Color, your Game Boy Advance. Oh. 2002, but yeah, there were a couple of GBC games released in 2002 that were backwards compatible. Yeah, uh, 2002? I don't know if it was 2000. Might, might have been. 2001, I think, was when the last. I'm not sure. Anyway. Mission 2 start. I mean, during the Game Boy's lifespan, there was the Super Nintendo, the N64, and the GameCube. There were Game Boy Pocket exclusive games? No, I don't think so. There were definitely Game Boy Color exclusive games. But I think as, as one iteration of hardware, Neo Geo is the longest. Like, because, uh, I mean, there was only one model. Well, okay, there were internal changes, but, like, basically one casing for the for the system the whole way through. All right, anyway. Uh, should we do Mission 2, or should, you, should I pop in a different game? I'm fine with either. Uh, let's wait. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Gonna drink my beverage. <sighs> what about Hyper Neo Geo sixty four? Never, uh, never a home system, and not, uh, not backwards compatible in any way. They only released like six games for it too. Do I have other metal slugs? No. 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 I ain't, I ain't that rich. 
Do a mission too? Okay, let's shoot some things. I've got the first two uh, Metal Slugs on Neo Geo CD. Which is not a terrible way to play them. I mean, there's loading time between there's loading time between the stages, but but while you're playing it's not bad. Oh my goodness. I'm forgetting I have grenades. But the enemies are not forgetting that they have grenades. Ooh, let's go in this thing. What did I do? That was a mistake. There we go. There we go. This is what Metal Slug is all about. Rolling over things. Rolling over enemies. Uh oh. I want to get to one of the stages where I can be a zombie. Those are always the funnest. heavy machine gun so I can shoot diagonally. That's weird. Well, I wish I had someone to come in on player two. Come on. I guess I could jump and shoot. There we go. Chaser! Oh, that's what I need. Chaser. It's almost cheating. <laughs> I'm fine with cheating. I'm gonna read a couple comments. Alright. 
I think it's nice to be here and watch the stream and chat with the audience. See you next. Oh, you got to head out? Well, thank, thank you very much for coming, uh, Bork and Kirby. See you later. I've been looking at a lot of Japanese vending machine foods, and it's been making me very hungry wanting to try. <laughs> this is what Metal Sun's about, rolling over things. All right. Insert to see me roll in the hating. Oh. Makes Contra look like a baby's game. Yeah, right. You have to use your hands. That's a baby's game. Yes. Even babies would say no to the arcade version of Contra. Oh. Think is that the Japanese version of Metal Slug 4 AAS? No, it is the U.S. version of Metal Slug 4 AAS. The rarer U.S. version. All right, back to it. Sorry. Someday I'll get a setup where I can do two things at once. Nah. Yeah. Give me things. I am dying a lot. How many continues do I have left? This is the arcade. I just keep popping quarters in here. Uh-oh. Who are you? I'll shoot you. To die a lot. I'm just going to stay right here where the fireball doesn't. Haha, I can't believe I dodged that. Yes, there's a metal slug. That's what we needed. You see me rolling, shooting. Don't they know that I'm in the military? Weird boss, to tell you the truth. It's just a tower. Oh, now I'm dead. Now here's where I exhaust my grenades while well, well, repeatedly dying. That's my strategy. Exhaust grenades while repeatedly dying. Alright, let's keep 
pumping grenades into this. Oh. Well, that was humbling. Oh, here we go. Read some comments again. The Bob Ross section of this game. Oh. Happy trees. Just curious what the current prices are. The cheapest U.S. version CIB is. Oh yeah, and that's that's cheaper than they usually go for. Yep. Hey, Poop Ninjas here. Welcome. Thank you for doing that uh, unboxing video. I really appreciated that. So. So you have a bundle of humbling games for the system? Uh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Oh, white and dirty. Uh, Weird Al, yeah. Okay. Um, should I keep going with this one, or I got I got other games. Oof. I mean, if I do continue with this game, I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna survive that long anyway. I think I'm on my last credit. Yeah, let's just let's just let's just die. Time to die. Welcome to die. Gonna ruin these kids' fun first. Now, these are totally different en enemies because they're wearing gray uniforms. I like how your footprints, like, I don't know, there's just all kinds of little touches in these games. Oh, I'm in fat mode! Look at me! Flame shot. Oh, I popped. Iron Lizard is the weirdest weapon. I think it was only in this game. It's like little cars that go on the ground and knock down trucks. Nope. Do I still have any credits left? I do not. Oh, and now what I could do is I could take this controller out and put it in controller port 2 and then use their credits. Well, that's kind of cheating. So I'm not going to do that. Anyway. <laughs> How far have you gotten? I've been in this game. Um, I've, I've been it several times with friends. Uh, I'm not great at the... Have I ever beaten it alone? I think I might have. Um, to tell you the truth, uh, with a game like this, I'm better with a click stick. You're supposed to put a quarter in the machine. Yeah. Have you seen the animation studio video on Metal Slug? Oh, no, I haven't. Uh, I'll check that out later. Oh, do, 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 do. do you own Wario Smooth Moves on the Wii, the Japanese version? I do, yes. All right. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to put Metal Slug away. It makes me nervous to even play it. So, as I said, the later games, yeah, I had these um, CD-sized manuals. But they have way better snap lock. I love the snap lock cases. They're way sturdier. 
They feel more premium. I don't know. I've always enjoyed them. Okay, what else you guys want to see? Oh my goodness. It's uh, getting... It's already almost 1 o'clock. Crazy. Art of Glorious Sprite Scaling. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. The the Jap the, the Japanese version is more of Japanese. Yeah, it's a uh, the the little haiku. Any very uh, Japanese talking about sword fighting and uh, putting things on your nose like a tengu. Yeah, I dropped the link for the Metal Slug animation setting the Discord. Oh, check it out. You guys all in the Discord? Are you all in the Discord? Do you need an invite? Get you in there right now if you want. Just a sec. Do, 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 do. There you go. If you guys aren't in the Discord already, there you go. <sighs> I told myself I was going to do an hour today. We're an hour and 17 minutes, and I have only gotten through two games. All right. So uh, what do you want to see next? Should I put in a fighter? What games have you played so far that I missed? I've only done Samurai Samurai Spirits, uh, the first one, and uh, Metal Slug 4. That's all I've done so far. I just yapped for like half hour before we started. So you didn't miss much. If you want to hear my, my ranting, you can uh, go back. Yeah. Do you eat rice for breakfast in Japan? Yeah, usually. And lunch and dinner. I mean, it's it's a staple here. I vote for a game you really like. Um, well, I really like the Samurai Showdown games, but I just I already played one of those. Um, it's not a game I particularly. I mean, I I hold on to this game because it's unique. This is Thrash Rally. It's a top down racer that I've very that I've really not played much at all. But I I think it's so cool because. If you look on the top here of the cart, here, let me pull that out. If you look at the top of the cart here, do you see this, like, uh, mini plug right here? That is for linking two games together. You could link two Neo Geos together uh, right from the cartridge. I think that's super crazy. Uh, Trash Rally is kind of like RC Pro-Am. If you're familiar with that game, it's kind of like that. Yeah, I could play this one. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever really played this much at all, to tell you the honest truth. I've owned it for a while. I always thought I was going to do a video on it if I ever got two Neo Geos, two copies of that game, and two TVs. I wanted to do a, uh, I, I wanted to do a video like that. Uh, League Bowling's like that, too. Hey! Welcome, welcome, welcome. But uh, yeah, let's give it a try. This is an early, early game. How many megs is this one? This is uh, doesn't even have a meg count on it. Must not be much. Oh, let's see. That's weird. I thought all of them had meg counts on them somewhere. 
doesn't. They must not have been proud of it. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, well, it doesn't have a meg count on it. So probably not a lot. Yep, that's right. It's a 3.5 millimeter male to male headphone cable. Yep. Nope, nope. It's uh, you don't need anything, uh, nothing proprietary there. At least as far as I know. As I said, I've never had the two Neo Geos, two TVs, and two copies of this cartridge to do it. Uh, there was also a Mahjong cartridge that did that, and I think League Bowling also allowed you to hook them up like that. Okay. Where's my sound? Did it knock out my sound somehow? Yes. I don't know how. Just a moment. Where's my sound? <sighs> hmm, just a moment. Hmm. Hold on. Cartridge cleaning something? Maybe. Cartridge seems to be working. Oh, there we go. Hmm. That's weird. Oh, there we go. Everyone donate to the Patreon. Yes, please. Because we all need to see that link cable in action. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's kind of a funny opening. Just a flying car. Alpha Dinchi became ADK later on, this company. Okay, anyway, let's start it up. Oh, I've still got my controller in the other port. Hold on. There we go. Oh, yeah, easy. World Rally. The car. World Championship. Let's do that. How to play. Accelerate and brake. Two buttons. All right. Time to die. Oh, yeah, you can jump, too. Oh, yeah. V. Yeah. K. Vink! Yeah. Toyota. Harsh? Mitsuboshi? <laughs> it seems they didn't have a... Uh... Toyota GT4. I'm going to be the Toyota. I didn't have licensing here. I love how many little details these games always have. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah. Braking is important as well. Nah, just gonna keep accelerating. Oh my goodness, okay. Should probably learn how to use the brake. Nah. Just keep accelerating. That's how I live my life. In the fast lane, my foot on the pedal. I'm crashing into walls. Whoa. Just ran over that other car. Final stage. Oh, yeah. You'd think I'd learned by now. Nope. Car vault. This is a rather expensive game. Um, I got it when it was not that expensive. I think I paid 30 for it way back in the day, but it goes time up and retire. Wow, that's harsh. Oh, 
really harsh. Get out of my way. But yeah, this game goes for about oh, 150 to 200 bucks, depending on the condition now. And that's not really the price you'd want to pay for a game. Well, it's, it's, it's fine, but it's not It's it's not considered a classic. I think a lot of people have never even heard of it. But it's, it's definitely a fun little game. It's nothing the Super Nintendo couldn't have done, though. Maybe that really smooth scaling. But like like a lot of early Neo games. It's a it's a it's a fine game though. Again, it reminds me of RC Pro Am, which is a lot of fun as well. Or like the um, what's the series on PC Engine? Um, F1 Circus. Kinda like that. Oh, I'll retire. Oof. But yeah, it's pretty fun. Yeah, I think the US versions of it are quite expensive. Uh, it's Thrash Rally. Thrash Rally. Uh, like micro machines, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a game that reminds me of micro machines, RC Pro, maybe a little bit of. I mean, it's, yeah, those type of games. Yeah, I don't have the manual for this one, so this cartridge is probably worth eh, maybe a hundred bucks. But I'm, but I, I, I haven't sold it because I, I just hold out hope that I'm going to get a second system. To finally, do that. Uh, it is quite fun though. Uh, I'll try short. Try to avoid copyright and shoot from by the Parsh. <laughs> yeah. Link Entertainment System. Oh, this game's like uh, the Rally Games and Game Set. Yeah. Played this years before, but I think it was called Top Rally or something like that. There was a game called Top Rally that I think was a lot like this. I think it might have had a different name um, outside of Japan. Some of the games did. Do, 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 do. Lignore all roads. Pedal to the joystick. Uh, I want Mitsuboshi, yes. Anyway. Um, okay, what do you want to see next? Hey, we got through three games. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Put some of these back. It looks like I have a lot of games. It's just because they're so big. There's only how many here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Only 12 games here. It just looks like more. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do you have a Neo Geo shooter? Um, the only one I've got, the only one I've got on the AES is um, is Metal Slug, uh, more of a run and gun shooter. No, I don't have any of the shooters. They're quite expensive. Um, trying to think. Yeah, even the cheap ones are 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 hundreds of dollars. <laughs> only twelve thousand dollars worth of games. Don't think that much, but it's it's definitely. I mean, you really can't get any Neo Geo game these days for under 50 bucks, even the most common ones. Ever think of picking up one of those bright yellow multi-carts? Yeah, I thought about it. I don't know. I hear, I mean, maybe. I don't know. Um, I kind of like collecting, but 
Yeah, I might. I might. I don't know if if I'm gonna go if I'm gonna go one of those multi cards, might as well just go with emulation, though. You know. Um. Do you want to see? So, uh, I'll talk about a little about these. Uh, first, Fatal Fury game is a classic. Um, just in that it introduced so many characters, but as a fighting game, it only allowed you to choose from three different fighters: Terry, Andy, and Joe. That's it. Um, and there were plenty of boss characters, but they weren't playable. It was very kind of a very strange uh, thing, more like the original Street Fighter than it was about Street Fighter Two. Um, so, but I love the cover art. I just think it looks so much better. If you if you look up the uh, U.S. cover art for Fatal Fury, it's really quite crappy compared to the the, the Japanese cover art. Uh, oh yeah, it's Metal Slug AES One is yeah more than ten thousand dollars easily. Um, the first King of Fighters game is is very interesting because it was the first King of Fighters game. And but one of the things is uh, it only allowed you to you if you you could choose your three characters, but you had to choose a team. You couldn't you couldn't just choose make a team of whichever three characters you wanted. You had to choose like England team or America team or or whatever. So um, Samurai Showdown Two is often considered the best of the series. It's debatable, but um, it's it's a fantastic game. It's really well balanced. It's really fun. Um, Samurai Showdown Three, as I said, has a nostalgic uh, place in my heart. It's quite a bit darker than the previous games. It it, it removes a lot of the humor from the earlier ones, and the, uh, it has less characters than Samurai Showdown Two, which is weird. But they're all, but almost all of them are new, and the animation is really really good. Samurai Showdown 4, I never really played that much. I have it on Neo CD, but the loading time took so long in between each one that I... Uh, you know, you want to see Samurai Showdown 3? Okay, that's fine. Oh, who's leaving? Well, I got to go, but if you ever get to buy any of the games from your store, I'll do an unboxing. Thank you so much! I appreciate that. So, Retro Gaming 1981, have a great night. Yes, the original Fatal Fury was made by the original Street Fighter designer. A lot of people think Fatal Fury was just a rip-off of Street Fighter 2, but it was in development before Street Fighter 2 came out. It, it's more of a rip-off of the first Street Fighter by the creator of the first Street Fighter. So, yeah. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. But anyway, let's let's play Samurai Showdown 3. I'm excited about that. This I got this one. Well, strangely enough, I have another copy of this in America right now, but as I said, I can't get it in my collection uh, right now at all. So um, I, I, I rebought this one for, I don't even want to say, but <laughs> more than I probably should. But I just really wanted to play it again because my, my daughter was getting into Samurai Showdown 2, and, and uh, I, I had fond memories of this one, and I wanted to play it with her. And uh, we haven't. I haven't played it yet, but we might this weekend. Okay. Yeah, it's really cool cover art. All right, let's do this. Now, I've been told that this game is not as well balanced as Samurai Shodown 2, and that was one of the criticisms, but I just I love the art style. I think the characters are very cool. Uh, the animation is amazing. I don't know. Again, this is the one that my that my college uh, game uh, arcade had. So I've just got a lot of. It's really good music too. Well, I gotta turn it down. Kids are sleeping. What's my favorite Neo Geo controller? Oh, I don't know. Depends. If I'm playing a fighter, I like these pads. If I'm playing an action game, I like the click sticks. Anyway. Hey, you want to see something cool? Okay. I can change the... Well, first I'm going to put it on easy. But um, I can change it to the U.S. version. Now watch this. So it, it changes to Samurai Showdown 3. Okay? But that's not the cool thing. It has the best name ever if you switch it to Korean. Hold on. Um... 
or was it Portugal? I think it was Korea that changes it to Fighter Swords. <laughs> Generic title ever. Fighters Swords. Yeah, this is what it was called in Korea. I wonder what it's called in Spain. I think it's still Samurai Shodown, too. Hold on. Okay, Japan. Japan, we got the awesome Samurai Spirits with the really cool blah, blah, blahs. And then USA. Okay, Portugal. What, is, what, is, what, is, what was it in Portugal? It was Samurai Shodown, too. And Spain, Samurai Showdown 3, whatever, and just the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, man. The title makes it sound like a... Like, screw the actual character. This game is all about sorts of the characters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like how it was how how Zelda was called Green Tights Shield Guy. All right, I'm gonna put it in the I'm gonna put it on the U.S. version so you guys can catch the awesome story. Oh no, expert! No, 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 no. Okay. So see, even though this is a Japanese card, you can you can set it to English. Oh, the animation is so lovely on this one. I just oh, I just love it. I just love it. Who should I be? Oh, okay, well, I guess I have this, and you've got two different attack modes. I usually, you slash. This is not my favorite character, but I really don't know how to use this character. It doesn't do much. Animates really well, though. I like to point out that the screen just says die right here. Spoken like a true fighter's swords. Okay, I'm going to choose a different fighter. Continue? No. <laughs> these, yeah, these characters are not practicing social distancing. That is to have no fear, to slice and kill, to survive. Oh, I 
I've always liked this game. Blow to it extinguishes the flame, and the second lane flame one knocks it down. Bloody too. It's just beautiful in its own way. Good lord! Wow. Alright. I'm try Umbrella Girl. That's who I, who I usually play. Set it to hard? Or am I just that terrible? Find the hottest girl. Yep, yep, that's how you play. Uh. 
And actually, for first speed to sheer power, yeah, that's good. Although in Samurai Showdown, I sometimes like playing Earthquake because sometimes I just like to press the button and just beat down the other guys. But yeah, this is but that's um this is Samurai Showdown three, and um, I love it. Uh, it's it's just it's definitely darker than the other games. Uh, it's less less funny, but I just. I don't know. It's just it's just beautiful. I I've I've just I've always loved the aesthetic, and uh, it was not received as well as Samurai Showdown Two. So for the fourth game, they went back to uh, much more like Samurai Showdown Two aesthetic, and they never really kind of they never followed where this one would have gone. Um, I guess kind of where this one went is I, I think Last Blade definitely took some ins inspiration from it, but yeah. Oh, as a married man, you played the character with the most balanced stats. Yep. Oh, do, 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 do. But yeah. Um, anything else you guys want to see? Matrimele is interesting. Just as it's it's one of the it's one of the final games on the system. I think it's the second to no third to last game on the system, and it is. It has some of the most incredible music I've ever heard on a cart. Almost all the songs in the games are fully sung. It's very interesting. It's just got a very eclectic cast of characters. The singing BGM and background have also been intensely powered up. All right. So this is this is part of the Power Instinct series, uh, which has games like uh, Power Instinct, Power Instinct Two, and uh, Groove on Fight. If you're familiar with that one, uh, you're curious about the Neo Geo stick itself. Okay, let's take a look. Here it is. This is the standard controller that was packed in with the Neo Geo system, and often the 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 gold and the lettering is always faded here because that's where people's hands rested. You know, on the buttons right here. So it's very hard to get one that has really, really good, like this one too. The Geo is kind of faded. Um, it's clicky. The buttons are, are nice. I like them. But yeah, that's the control pad. Um, is it a square gate or does it have... Is it a square? I have no idea. I have no idea, actually. Feels nice, though. Feels really nice. Is the stick's range itself a square? I have no idea. Sorry. I don't... <laughs> I wouldn't even know how to know. But it's... it's it was it considered at the time to be one of the best... Pads, yeah. Oh, when I move the stick around, yeah, it's probably a square. Yeah, I'd say it's probably a square. Okay, I'm gonna put matrimalia in. Oh my goodness. All right. You guys might like this one. It's really interesting. If it works. I almost never play this one. I'm too nervous to put these expensive carts in. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the few giga-powered games. The meg count on this guy is 646. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I have the soundtrack to this game. I enjoyed it so much. Oh, what? Oops. Just do one round. Oh, it was just Japanese. That's fine. Because I think if you put it in English, you just get like MIDI versions of the songs rather than the actual sung ones. All right. What are we doing? Choosing the one that looks like a dog or just hottest girl? Are you hottest? Maybe. Hold on. Now, in the background, those often characters singing the songs. If you if you wait long enough, hold on. Oh. Whoa! I reset. What the heck? That's weird. Sorry, I don't use this cartridge much. The songs are sung. So there's usually some kind of character singing the, the song. Yeah. It's all kinds of different styles of music. This one's more like Enka. Anyway. This song's called Subarashi Internet. It's so good. Hold on. And yeah, you see the person s singing it right there. Subarashi Internet. It's so great. I love this game. She launched I like this old lady like throws her, her dentures at you. Oh, 
Oh, I think I forgot to mention that the, the idea of this game is the winner of this tournament gets to marry this princess. That's why it's called Matrimele. Cutscene. Some naked woman in the shower. Another sung song, this one's like in the idol style. Is this the one where the guy's wearing the MVS shirt? Oh no, this is the one with the 100 yen trip. really good as well. Cutscene. That's somewhat offensive. I like how they write on everyone's face if you lose. Hello. Just who will find true happiness? Oh, no, this is the princess we're all trying to marry.
sissy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This girl suffers from SNK boss syndrome. I got in no hits. Oh, yeah, Poochie. Life back somehow. She's got like healing. I have no chance. She's, I have no chance of survive. Make my time. Well, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Nope. She died on this way back to his home planet. I get that reference. But yeah, that is match for my life. Okay. Oh my goodness, what time is it? It is 1.30 in the morning. I should probably sleep. I'm not good enough to marry the president's daughter. Nope. But yeah. So that's my. Uh, I think. I think that's where I'll wrap up the Neo Geo stream today. Save a couple games for uh, next time I do one of these, and I'm looking to pick up a few more Neo Geo games because I'm crazy. Um, a lot of the a lot of the games that I have though are um, not. There's only a few games in my personal collection. The rest are. I don't know. I'm. I say that they're for sale, but. If no one buys them, I'm kind of happy because I like to have them. So, seven days in bed makes one week. Okay. Oh, but yeah. Am I excited about Monster World 4 on Switch? I, I don't know. I wasn't a Master System kid growing up, so I didn't really play a lot of the Monster World games until later on. And uh, I don't know. I've always been more of a Mario fan, but uh, it looks good. It looks really good. Uh, I mean, I'll probably, as I said, if there's a limit, if there's a limited edition of, if there's a limited edition uh, physical print, I'll probably pick it up. Oh, that Alex Kid one looks good too. Gosh, there's a lot of good stuff coming. I pre ordered the uh, No More Heroes sets, but I missed, like, they, they, they just put up, I, I pre ordered the limited run ones, and then, then they announced that um, the trilogy, No More Heroes 1, 2, and 3, uh, is a special um, uh, Japan box set, like, called the Killian dollar edition or whatever, and it was up on Amazon for like a few hours, and it's already sold on. I missed it. What are my thoughts on on Ball and Wonder World? I downloaded the demo and played it 
for, I don't know, 20 minutes and deleted it. And I don't see any reason to go back. I don't know. I just, I, I, I didn't think there was anything special about it. But I know some people like it, and that's fine if people like it. That that's great. But like, I think, I think it's kind of a, it's not, it's not one of uh, Yuji Naka's better efforts. Uh, it's 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 both a game that was like. It looks like it was lavish, like it had a high budget, but at the same time missed basic things like not making the controls terrible. I don't know. Do, 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 do. There's so many good Switch games. They need to pay us more so we can buy. Yes. The limited run No More Heroes 1 and 2 Special Edition are like the Japanese set. Yeah, but the Japanese set is cheaper and comes with all three, including it comes with No More Heroes 1, No More Heroes 2, and the third game, which I don't have yet, and some and some cool junk for a hundred bucks. Uh I I you know, you get the two limited run sets and you're plunking down like 140 for just the two games. I mean I'm glad I'm I, I they're great and I'm glad I'm gonna have them. I'm a huge fan of the series, but but uh but uh I I wouldn't have minded triple dipping for this. I'm gonna check Amazon right now. <laughs> I'm hoping they like I'm hoping they get more up. But you know what? That's good. Unless, because unless they only made like a hundred copies of it, that's that's a that's a good sign because uh, the first the No More Heroes in Japan sells like hot garbage, usually. So if they are selling out and there there was a fair amount, yeah, sold out. Currently unavailable. Add to wish list. Ugh. That makes me sad. Both the Amazon special one and the... Ah, well. Anyway. Uh, Montero is getting a standard retail release and a limited edition. <laughs> yeah. My Shantae, Shantae Game Boy game finally. Well, Pirate's Curse. Cool. That's neat. All right. Okay, I think that's probably where I where I finish for tonight. Kids are probably going to wake up in like four hours, so I want to get a little sleep before then. Um, but thank you, everyone, for coming. Um, if you guys want to continue your discussion, uh, uh, pop on the Discord. Uh, again, I'll put up the link to there. And uh, um, always happy to see you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, I've I've, I've, I I really enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for not making fun of me as my uh, new glasses. Uh, I've had these for about a year, but I don't know. I haven't streamed much, so I'll buy some. Night Vink, I'll buy some Famicom games when I get the twin going. Great, great. I got some good stuff up right now. I got a bunch of, a bunch of Mega Man titles. All right. Yep, thank you so much, guys. And uh, with that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head out. Um, as I say at the end of all the streams, uh, be safe, please. Uh, and try to stay as positive as you can. These, the, the, it's kind of, yeah, it's been a kind of miserable time lately. But uh, we can all get through this and, uh, and just find a reason to smile. I love you guys. See you later. Bye-bye.